Welcome to the hardware service guide for Arista Network's 7010T series data center switches. This video provides information concerning safety precautions, handling, removal, installation, and verification of field replaceable units specific to Arista 7010T series switches. In this video, we will cover the following topics. The 7010T series data center switch overview, rack mounting, powering the switch, power supply, managing airflow, LED indicators, and verifying operation. The content in this video is an addendum to the quick start guides and does not cover all the safety precautions found in the full guide. For complete safety precautions and specifications, see the safety and compliance guide. For access to the quick start guides, go to the support heading on arista.com, choose the product documentation page, then select the hardware tab. For data sheets, go to the products heading at arista.com, select the corresponding switch series bar. For cables and transceiver information and references, go to the products heading at arista.com and choose the transceivers and cables page. The tools required are as follows. Standard hand tools such as screwdrivers may be required. Certified lifting devices may be required for chassis and fabric modules located above 5 feet. A serial port RS-232 and a computer may be required to verify operation using the command line interface. Verification procedures for successful FRU replacement via LED status and CLI commands are provided within each FRU replacement section immediately after the FRU item is installed. A list of CLI commands pertinent to verification is also summarized for convenience at the end of this presentation. Some activities in this video require CLI access. Please refer to EOS Configuration Guide to learn how to access this with CLI. At any time during your installation, you may contact the Arista Networks TAC by phone, web, or email. Arista 7010T series switches has one field replaceable colored coded fan for front to rear and rear to front airflow. Prior to installation, Equipment should be inspected to ensure all components are present and not damaged. The 7010T series switches normally ships as a bundle with two inbuilt power supplies, one reversible fan module pre-installed in the chassis. The 7000 series also ships with a two-pole rack mount kit, two power cables, one RJ45 Ethernet patch cable and one RJ45 to DB9 adapter cable. Before racking the switch, be sure you have enough space in and around the rack. As the name suggests, these switches require just one rack unit of space to fit in. Next, determine which side of the rack will be front and which will be rear, keeping in mind the airflow configuration of the switch, hyphen F or hyphen R. The label color indicates airflow direction. Blue label is air inlet module and red label is air exit module. The 7010T series supports Two post rack mounting. First, attach both mount brackets to the switch. Next, insert the switch into the rack. Last, attach the bracket flange to the rack post. The switch is prepared for flat surface placement by attaching four rubber pads on the bottom of the chassis to prevent the switch from sliding on the table and to protect the surface of the table. The installation kit provides four rubber switch pads. To prepare the switch for placement on a flat surface, peel the four rubber pads from the master sheet and attach one in each indentation near each corner on the bottom of the switch. The 7010 switches features N plus 1 built-in AC power supplies. Power modules are not installed in the back of the switch. Power cables are connected to the power modules in the back of the switch. The system is N plus 1 power redundant, which means only one PSU is mandatory for an uninterrupted switch operation. The switch will continue to be powered on if one of the two PSUs were to fail. It is recommended to connect the power supplies to two different power sources to provide grid redundancy. 
प्लीज रेफर टू द फुल क्विक स्टार्ट गाइड सेवेंटी टेन टी सीरीज डेटा सेंटर स्विचेस फॉर एक्सेस टू दिस गाइड गो टू द सपोर्ट हेडिंग एट अरेस्टा डॉट कॉम चूज द प्रोडक्ट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन पेज देन सेलेक्ट द हार्डवेयर टैब फॉर एक्सेस टू द सेवेंटी टेन टी डेटा शीट गो टू द प्रोडक्ट्स हेडिंग एट अरेस्टा डॉट कॉम एंड सेलेक्ट द करस्पॉन्डिंग स्विच सीरीज बार बिफोर कनेक्टिंग पावर टू द चैसी फर्स्ट एंड श्योर द Grounding wires and grounding lugs are not supplied. Wire size should meet local and national installation requirement. Commercially available 12 AWG wire is recommended for US installations. M4 into 0.7 screws are required to secure the wire to the grounding pad. Plug the power cables that were supplied with the chassis into the AC power socket. Number 1. Ensure switch is properly grounded. Number 2 Remove the terminal cover to expose the connectors on the right side of the module. Number 3 Connect the DC input wires to the terminal block in this order. A ground cable to the ground connector on the terminal block. B negative source DC cable to the negative connector on the terminal block. C positive source DC cable to the positive connector on the terminal block d replace the terminal cover use this chart as a reference to determine status use the cli command show environment power to verify proper installation of the power supplies this command displays the status of all power supplies in the switch the status of power supply should say okay The 7010T features an integrated 2-in-1 front to back and back to front cooling. The fan module is accessed from the rear panel. The 7010T has only one fan module and no redundancy. The fan module airflow detection can be reversed by simply removing and inverting it. Press the clip on the handle and pull the fan module out. Invert the fan module. Insert the fan module back until you hear the device click in. The color of the label determines the airflow direction. Fan status LEDs can be found on the fan modules itself. Use this chart as a reference to determine status. If the switch is installed and operating properly, you may also check the fan module status LED located on the front panel of the switch. Use this chart as a reference to determine status. Use the CLI command show environment cooling to verify all fans are operational. This command displays the fan status, airflow direction and ambient switch temperature. The status column should say okay for every installed fan. Use the CLI command show environment temperature to verify temperature sensors are normal. This command displays a table that lists the temperature measured by each sensor in the switch. The temperature level should be below the alert and critical thresholds. Each port has its own indicator LED. Port LEDs are located in the vicinity of their corresponding ports and provide link and operational status. There is one LED per SFP port. Use this chart to determine status of port LEDs. Verify the switch operation with the help of the commands given in this table. Thank you for watching the hardware service guide for Arista Network 7010T series data center switches. Please visit arista.com or contact Arista Tech for additional questions and assistance.